Okay, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in this short video on how to use this lectern in room 57. I'm pretty sick and I may not be at work on Tuesday, so um, in case I'm not here, please watch this video. Take notes if you need to, but um, there is nothing you need to unplug. There is nothing you need to change on the wires. Uh, it works as it is now. And I'm going to show you how to use it, whether you want to use it with the computer and the lectern or your own laptop, uh, provided it's got an HDMI port. Okay, you come into the room, first thing you're going to do is walk over to the lectern and you're going to look for this little box right here. This says on and off and it says power. It's got this little squiggly, uh, dangly little keychain. This is what turns the lectern on on the right hand side. Okay, so all the electronics comes on. This little receiver here, please leave it in the wall because this is what makes this transmitter work. This runs on a CR2032 coin size battery. It's a good battery in there, so you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, so you open the lectern. If you are going to use your, uh, or use, I should say, use the computer in the lectern, remember this. There's two settings you need to absolutely remember. Number one is for the lectern PC. I'll turn the lights on so you can see better. This, uh, this thing says cabinet lights on the side, and this also runs on a CR2032 coin battery. Okay, so this should be lit up for number one, it says Lectrum PC, and the first one right here that's blinking should be lit up also, so that this sends out, this Kramer video distribution amp sends out the signals to the projector in the ceiling and also to the two TVs. Uh, and so this is what the kids will see on the projector screen. You need to lower the projector screen with this switch here. If you want to turn the lights out, I'll do that in a second, but this turns the lights out in the front row. Okay. Now, you still need to, to operate the computer and lectern. Reach down here where my finger is, press that button in, and wait for the computer to boot up uh, which takes a couple of minutes so all right while it's booting up I'll tell you some of the stuff that's in here all right so basically I'm just using number one for the lectern or the PC in the lectern and number two if you're using a laptop it says guest laptop so if you want to bring your own laptop you would press number two and number two down here uh, Dr. Maboob does this quite frequently when he comes to teach on Tuesdays and I believe Thursdays so it will be set on number two and number two for him but I'm showing you today for the computer that's in the lectern you need to have it on one and one okay the next thing is the black triangle microphone up on the up on the surface of the lectern this goes to the output in the ceiling. Uh, it's a 30 watt amp, 160 watt four way speakers. And where I have it presently, this should be enough for everybody in the class to hear, even the people who sit in the back row. I keep the first audio control, which is for this mic on number one at nine o'clock. All these others, they're not being used, so they're, you don't need to change them. The master audio amp control, I keep about 10 o'clock. Uh, for the sure amp for the mic, this one's not being used, so don't, you don't, this isn't being used on that. But this one is, I keep it at nine o'clock. This is for the lectern output. So if you have a uh, PowerPoint or any type of YouTube video, this controls the audio output from that on the, uh, computer and electron to the speakers in the ceiling and then down below bass and treble I keep them at about five o'clock okay please don't turn the fan off this is what cools the electronics on the inside all right so now what we're going to do is I'm going to log in I'll turn this away so you don't see my password
One other thing I want to point out is uh, this great <coughs> flexible mesh conduit in the floor. It's on a short leash. So the lectern can't really move very far. If you move this very far or try to away from where it currently is, it might break the cables in the, in the conduit or in the wall here, and then the thing won't work. So let's, let's try and keep it where it is. This allows enough room for anybody to walk in and walk up to the lectern and uh, teach the class. All right, so now I've logged in. I'm not going to go over how to use PowerPoint. I've, I think everybody knows that. But I will show you how to use the Hovercam document camera here. Okay. Now, if you want to use the document camera, you need to make sure it's lit up, which it currently is. This needs to come out like this, the arm. <clears throat> up on the desktop, you look for a software that says Hovercam Flex 11. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna show you how this works here. Let me get a dollar bill out, if I have one. Okay, all right, so, oh, one other thing, got to tell you this. You need to turn the projector on, and the way you turn the projector on in the ceiling, you've got two buttons. You have on and standby. Standby really should say off, because if you hit standby in the middle of your presentation, it'll take 10 or 15 minutes for this thing to uh, cool down and then reboot, which is basically wasted time. So do not press this little button that says standby till you're through for the day with your class. Okay. Another thing I was going to mention is the remote control that operates both TVs. It doesn't work very good from the side uh, for uh, the remote to turn the TV on or off. But anyway, the top left button where my thumb is, you press that. And then on the bottom, in the left-hand corner, a little light should come on. Okay, and the TV comes up. So, <clears throat> I won't go back and do the other one, but uh, I think you get the idea. Same principle. Okay, so, all right, so there's the $1 bill. If you want to zoom in on it, you've got a zoom function here that you can pretty much move this around how you want it and make it a lot bigger. So it pretty much, oh, one other thing. If you want to turn this off, the light switch it makes it a little easier for the uh, students to see hopefully you they won't be looking at a faded one dollar bill like this but uh, but this is what I have to show you okay all right so uh, this is basically how you want to do uh, the document camera if you want to do something a little different than this you can move this away over here on the screen you've got a lot of different settings I'm just gonna go over two of them you have a whiteboard set